up guys it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel in today's video I will be continuing to answer some of your luck questions that you have been leaving on my videos so let's jump right into it okay so the first question we have here is can all locks be removed that way even if they were installed by a stylist now when this person is making a reference um, to that way they are talking about um, the way how I showed you guys how to remove your locks which you can definitely check that video out right here um, and the answer to that question is yes all locks can be removed that particular way um, the thing is whether you have it installed by a stylist or not that does not change that the hair is locked which is tangled and basically what i'm showing you in this particular video is how to untangle your locks in a safe way without damaging your hair now i also have another video on my channel where i installed um instant locks and i also combed out my instant lock in the same manner now there was a slight difference in how i um, took down the instant locks and that was only the difference was only that i didn't use conditioner and i did explain to you guys in that video as to why i didn't use the conditioner it was because i simply installed the locks immediately and i took it out so it's not like my locks my instant locks um had like years of being compact together and needed to be softened to a great extent so i was just able to just quickly come through it um that particular day when i installed it and took it out so um if anyone come across that particular video as i did mention in that video always refer to the original video of how to take down your locks properly and in a safe way so that you're not damaging your hair okay so moving on to the next question i have two strength twist starter locks and they are unraveling in they are unraveling in the middle of the shaft the ends and scalp area are sealed but the middle of the shaft is untwisting what do you suggest okay so two strength twist starter locks and they're unraveling in the middle i seem to get that a lot like a lot of people who start their two strength twist lock journey they're saying that their locks are unraveling especially in the middle and that the roots and the ends are sealed now okay what i can suggest is um is if your hair is like that i would definitely say take down your two strand twist and reinstall it now i do also have a video on my channel which shows you how to install your two strand twist starter locks in a way to minimize unraveling now when you're um, installing your starter locks you have to pay attention to what is happening to your two strand twist once you have finished installing it now if it is on raveling or look kind of wonky or don't look very uniform more time you did not install it the right way in terms of how you're um, twisting your hair again like i mentioned there is a video on my channel where i detail um, what to look out for so definitely go ahead and check it out right here and um, you will see what you should be looking out for when you're installing your two strand twist because once i started Jaden's second lock journey which is why i was able to share that with you since i have installed, installed um his two strand twist for a second lock journey I had no unraveling whatsoever and the way how I install it because of what I was looking for I was able to prevent that so definitely check that video out and I hope you find it very very helpful okay so moving on to question three it says hello I started my lock journey today and I usually put my hair in ponytails to stretch them out one of my locks at the back became loose how do i lock that specific one back up or make the root tighter okay so you've literally just installed your two strand twist well i'm assuming it's two strand twist um because it came undone it could be something else i'm not quite sure but if we're talking about two strand twist here um so he says it became loose how do i lock that specific one back up or make the root tighter again like i've always shared with you all when if especially if you're starting your lock journey with two strand twists is to interlock the root because once you interlock the root even if your two strand twist came undone it won't like literally separate where your um section is all 
all over the place it will still be tightened at the root and all you have to do is um, put it back in now if you started with um, two strand twists and you want to lock it back up because you said you literally started it today it's literally just to do that and interlock the roots because I mean you said to make the root tighter I'm assuming that you are not um, interlocking the root so um, if you don't have the interlocking tool what I can suggest is braiding the root and then put installing the um, the two strand twist um, but if you started with say comb coils I definitely wouldn't know what to say in terms of making the root tighter the only thing I would simply say is just reinstall the um, the comb coil but um, yeah because I genuinely wouldn't know what to say because I've never started my lock journey with the comb coil met method um, so I wouldn't really know how to really advise but if it's two strand twist definitely um, interlock but if you don't have the interlocking tool also consider plaiting the um, the roots okay so moving on to question four we have my twist keeps unraveling how do you keep them from unraveling you know <laughs> as, as I've said before as well um, when you start your lock journey if you are not starting with instant locks then expect unraveling in some way shape or form so you're saying how do you keep them from unraveling well um, how do you keep your locks from unraveling because unraveling is usually happening when you're sleeping or when you've washed your hair so what I can say is obviously if you're sleeping keep your hair covered with a silk or satin scarf because when you're sleeping and your hair, head's covered everything is being kept in a nice um, area and it's tied so it's like not much movement happening so definitely consider keeping your hair covered at night now if it's happening when you are washing your hair I would say just like how I advise people who start their locks with comb coils to put a stocking cap on their heads that would be another way um, to consider to prevent unraveling and also when you're washing your hair with two strand twists you want to make sure you um, are being gentle now as I've shared with you guys um, along my braid lock journey you know even though I do experience some unraveling I am able to give my scalp a good thorough wash so you can also um, consider um, the, the method that you've started with because that definitely play a role let me see what it says let me make sure I'm answering that correctly yeah so how do you keep them from unraveling yeah so if it's too yeah it says your twist you said twists okay so you said my twists keep unraveling <coughs> sorry so yeah definitely keep it covered at night um, be gentle when you are washing your hair um, if that's where you're experiencing the unraveling definitely be gentle or cover your hair with something um, and also as mentioned in the previous question you know you may have installed your two strand twist um, incorrectly in a sense because like I said when I started Jaden's luck journey this way I have not experienced any unraveling on month one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. No unraveling. Okay, so moving on to the next question, we have my twists get rusty after a day. Why is that? Okay, rusty. What is rusty? I am assuming you're talking about frizzy, meaning like it's not looking like or just um, you know retwist. You said you retwist, yeah. My twist gets rusty after a day, so I'm assuming you mean like it's looking like what the heck? I just twisted my hair, and today it looks like nothing's happened. Um, I would think if that is happening is that when you're retwisting your hair is that you are not using any holding products now I'm not saying you must use holding products because you know that is not a must but I have shared with you guys on my channel which I'll link right here um, how to make your retwist last longer and I found from my personal experience that um, when you use holding products on your locks and you cover your hair every single night that your twist lasts 
so much longer i did a, an experiment i've got it linked here definitely check it out and you will see the difference and this is how i would suggest making your twist last longer so that the next day it doesn't look rusty now even if you didn't use um you know any holding products you still can make it last but i believe from my experience um using holding products will make it last a lot longer but if you're not into using products you can still make it last longer so yeah go on over check it out <laughs> Okay, so the next question we have here is, I followed your videos and did starter locks using the interlock method on my son a couple of days ago. He has mixed hair and they keep unraveling in his sleep. D not all of them, but at least 25% of them. Is it because of his hair texture? Yes. The hair texture definitely plays a part. Like I've always said this, your hair texture plays a major role in how, um, how long or how quick your hair will lock and you know the unraveling process as well um not that it's a process for unraveling <laughs> but i mean like um you will experience more unraveling especially if you have a softer texture hair or looser curl patterns those um types of um hair texture do impact you know your locking journey your lock journey so yeah and like i've also said like instant locks i would highly recommend instant locks for those who have a looser curl pattern or straighter hair so you want to consider that and i also again have a video on my channel which share which i have shared <laughs> with you guys how to install instant locks so definitely go on over and check that video out here or in the description bar below okay so moving on to the next question we have can you upload some styles with that part pattern now as you guys know I share with you guys the grid pattern because that is the pattern I use when I start my lock journey as well as Jaden's lock journey and even when I shared with you my oldest son lock journey with his braid locks that was the braid pattern the grid pattern grid pattern the parting pattern that I shared with you guys which is the grid pattern now if if I hadn't ended Jaden's luck journey on my first uh, my, my second luck journey I would have been able to um, share some styles with you guys but unfortunately you know I didn't you know share those and um, if I didn't enjoy this lock journeys here would be a lot longer as well so I can do like different styles because with my oldest son when his hair got longer when he did his first when I did his first lock journey when he was much younger I was putting in styles in his hair but as you know um, I've started Jaden's second lock journey and as his hair um, continues to grow and get longer I would definitely um, keep this um, question in mind to make sure that I share with you some styles that you can do with this grid pattern. All right, so the next question we have here is, how long does it take for the hair to bud? Now, budding, I usually say budding will, you will see your hair bud within um, the first three months. You will definitely experience it. You will definitely experience, can I get my words out right? Can I speak correctly? <laughs> you will definitely experience budding within the first three months. Now, as I have shared with you guys in my six week lock update with my braid locks, that I experienced budding um, within the first month. Now, I feel the reason that happened is because you know, braids is different from two strand twist. And because um, when I go back in my memory, there was budding, but I can't remember if I noticed it after one month or after month two or three. But I know for sure you can um, experience it within the first, you will experience it within the first three months. Now with braid locks, I feel like I was able to see body much quicker because it's like so much more tighter on the roots. So the hair is locking in the, you know, the looser part. And then when I interlocked, I was able to see that whoop look there we go some buttons happening <laughs> but anyway to answer the question which is how long does it take for the hair to bud it takes between four to four weeks i was gonna say four months but four weeks to 12 weeks so definitely within the first month to the third month you can expect to see 
budding going on. Okay, so the next question we have here, which is a little bit rude, but I am going to answer it anyway because some people feel like they want to be rude and want to come out there. I was going to actually ignore it, but I was like, you know what? I got time today. Okay, so they ask, there goes, please cut his hair. I don't understand locking kids' hair. Shouldn't that be their choice to make? I'm gonna try to be nice. Answering this, please cut his hair. First and foremost, who are you to tell me what to do with my child? Nobody. You don't run my house. My children don't run my house. Me and my husband run this house. So, as a parent, I will make the choices that I feel is best for my child, okay? Um, so you said as well, shouldn't that be their choice to make? No, that's not my child's choice to make. Just like um, if my child was like, mom, I wanna eat candy all day for dinner. Is that his choice to make or mine? I'm the parent, I'm the responsible one. I'm the one who determine what you should and should not do, especially if it's something silly right kids can't make certain decisions this is why they have parents to guide them and show them what's up okay now when i started my son's lock journey he didn't really like getting his hair combed i didn't want to cut his hair i didn't want to do that that's my choice there are so many people out there that children have long hair and that's the parent's choice it wasn't the child's choice okay so I made that decision, so it's not his choice. However, however, when um, I combed out his locks and for his second lock journey, he actually asked to get his locks back. He wanted his locks back, so I did it. But at the end of the day, no. When I installed his locks, that's not his choice because what can a, um, a three-year-old tell me that they want from what they don't? Because I started his lock journey when he was three. What? No, no, that's not his choice, that's mine. I'm the parent. When he becomes of age, much older, more sense, and know right from wrong and what is this and da 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 da, not necessarily that having locks is right or wrong, then he can make his own, own choices. But until then, I am the parent. I make the choices. You don't like it? Oh well, bye bye. Okay, so with that out the way, moving on to the last question, we have, um, do you think you will ever freeform? Freeform, just out there like that? Just, no. <laughs> I wouldn't freeform. I don't have anything against freeforming, but I just don't like that for me. I like things to look a certain way. I like it to be neat. I want to cultivate my hair in terms of like retwisting it, make it look nice and cute. But I do like um, freeform. Um, I would consider semi free forming, but not fully free form because with semi free form, you know, at least you can install your locks, you to, you know, to look the way you want it to look and then you leave it to do its own thing. But to say, I'm going to go right out there and just free form. Nah, I'll consider semi free form. <laughs> Okay, so remember to go ahead and check the cards above as well as in the description bar below for similar videos like this one. And if you enjoyed today's video, then please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. So until next week Sunday at 5 p.m., we will be right back here with another video.